Dog is Jake here to take a look at the new 2022 Busby Predator. This is a design that has kind of been revamped, recolored, reshelled over the years. It has been around at least in in name and basic functionality for quite some time. But I want to take a look at this newer model here because it has seen a couple of changes that I think at least make it a pretty nice option on the lower end of the price point spectrum. And as is, the price point for this is $13. This is available through uh, a couple of retailers, but I picked mine up at my local Dollar General for a $13 price tag. It comes in a new minimalist packaging, which uh, Busby is kind of doing with, some, at least with a number of the Dollar General releases, to uh, conserve on packaging. So, kind of kudos to them on that. On that, it helps them and helps save on material. So, less trash. Always a good thing. But your $13 buys you a single shot, bolt action, breech loaded blaster that also includes a attachable scope. Now this is a uh, rail attachment that is Busby specific. This, this newer model does not include the rail adapter that was included on some of the uh, previous Predator releases. A couple of the previous Predator releases were actually priced a little higher but included a Busby to Nerf or Nerf to Busby flippable adapter, which was a nice little option. Unfortunately, I don't see it on this one. At least in my packaging that I got, had no such thing. And when I say minimalist packaging, this was literally just in there on top of that. So what was included was the blaster, the scope, and some of the long distance darts. Now these are the blue foam with yellow tips and they do have very good performance velocity wise and range wise they don't make any range claims on the package but this one does slightly outperform the previous predator and these will actually hit well into the 80 plus range as far as 80 feet with a 45 degree angle so that that is you know at least competitive to nerf and when i get to the performance at least specific documentation off my chronograph you're going to see why now again function is very easy just simply pop up the bolt pull it back take one dart load it in here close your bolt and fold it down and fire simple as can be the uh, storage from previous generation predators is retained you have the ability to store four darts by opening that up and then dropping in one, two, three, and four. So you can carry some darts on board, and all you have to do is pop up a little hatch, and there's your darts. So an easy way to carry some extra. It actually protects them from getting bent and folded. Kind of nice. You know, it's a good idea, and it's hidden right there in the stock. And again, you can just easily load, and when you run out of what you have on your hand, Pop open, pull out, and load from there. Kind of one of the ideal backyard blasters. And getting to its performance. And again, this is why I actually consider the Predator one of the best loaners for younger or newer or just looking for fun kind of players is that this thing is easy to operate. It literally is so intuitive because you just... Everybody knows, they see a bolt action, they know how to use it. And you're hearing a pretty good pop, which means despite being so easy to use and quite compact for a bolt action rifle style blaster, this thing actually averaged 77 feet per second on my chronograph. And to quantify that versus Nerf, Nerf averages around anymore, about 70 is the accepted average, but anymore, a lot of their blasters shoot under 70. So, this is actually performing above Nerf average for performance at $13. And it includes the scope, includes some darts. So, it's the easy way to get some people into having fun flinging foam. And that's, that's the key for this. No, it's not the absolute most powerhouse. No, it doesn't have the highest ammo capacity. It has ease of use with decent performance and, you know, it is everybody everybody loves a bolt action rifle when they're a kid you know it's just 
it's something about the engagement. You're not just you're not just pulling and firing with a rev trigger and a primary trigger. Not that flywheels don't have their place, but there is something that's just fun about bolt action. Some will disagree, but me, I love this. This I actually have. I personally have about ten of them now, or twelve of them. If, especially if you even count the older ones, I have probably more, more like fifteen. I have a bin full that we use to just loan out because everybody loves to grab them, and I can't blame them. And if you're looking, if you're just looking for something fun for the backyard, it's hard to go wrong with a thirteen dollar blaster that is so easy to use. You can buy a few of these and again set them out in a bin put out a bucket of darts and just go at it great for family time and these things actually for those of us who want to tinker you can brass these up and ironically enough once they get a brass breech it seems like all they need they can't take a huge spring but once they've been brassed they actually do fairly well which is actually what I'm gonna do with one of these I picked up two of them and I'm going to take one of them and modify it fully so that we can see exactly what the new generation can do because the older ones fired typically in the mid 60s on their uh, velocities and this one's actually firing in the high 70s so it's already stepped up quite a bit I'd like to see what a sealed breech system could do that'd be kind of fun kind of as a sleeper mod have this plain Busby Predator and all of a sudden, it's firing at high velocity. But this is Mongoose Jake with my review of the Busby Predator. I, I look at it as basically the perfect backyard blaster or just the go-to fun, you know, as it is. It's a toy. It's just a go-to fun item. Just grab a few of them, have a bucket of darts, and fling some foam. Really simple, really reliable and really inexpensive. Busby Predator. Easy fun for cheap. Hard to go wrong with. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.